So our next question is how important are the various parts of the admi admissions application process and what are some ways to stand out? Um, so I think, um, again, I mean we were just talking about essays, I think that is a very important part of the application process and I guess arguably one of the most stressful just because it's, you know, the one part that you really um, put a lot of time and effort into. Um, but I think also something that's really important, um, and uh, I'm not sure how accessible undergrad um, admissions advisors are. I don't really remember. The best. Yeah. Um, but uh, when I was applying for grad school, um, I made sure to show as much initiative as I could. Um, I set up, you know, two or three calls with admission advisors and counselors. Um, I attended. Um, all the webinars that they had about the program. Um, I checked in with my admissions counselor every every week, emailing her, asking her questions, um, and you know I would I purposefully asked really um, um, like a cute I was going to say obtuse but it would be acute right yes small small yeah, yeah mm -hmm. acute que mm -hmm. specific questions that you can be answered in the application because don't do that if you can just answer a question like when's the deadline and it's like they're like okay look at the application but you haven't read it um, but yeah so I just think um, you know showing them that you really are interested and you want to learn more and putting your name out there um, so when say you know you had a, a, an appointment with an admissions counselor and your application comes into their lap and they're like oh my gosh I remember talking to Molly we had a great conversation great gal her essay you know turned out really well like you know she or she or he um, may have, you know, more of an inclination to let you in because you put yourself out there um, and show that you have initiative. Um, so I guess just for me personally, that's, you know, how um, I stood out. So I guess just if there's any opportunity for you to put your name in front of somebody or, you know, an extra way to stand, like, you know, um, just be involved with the school during the process and take it. You know, do everything you can to just, you know, again, put your name out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really great point. I think if you think about it as if you were an admission counselor and you were looking at two similar applications, pretty similar grades, pretty similar extracurriculars, um, one of the best ways you can differentiate those applications would be the level of interest that that student has expressed to you. And, you know, don't overlook the little things like sending a handwritten note in the mail. That's huge. And I would always keep notes like that from students that really indicated they were interested. Um, take advantage of opportunities to meet your admission counselor when they come to your high school during lunch or they're at a college fair or they're spending time in your area. Um, that's really going to indicate another level of interest um, in admission and in the scholarship process. I know as I, when I was an admission counselor, the students that I got to know as they were applying, a lot of those same students were the ones that came to my mind as I had the opportunity to recommend them for specific scholarships. So don't miss out on great scholarships down the road because you didn't get to know your admission counselor. Search for scholarships on college expenses. Yeah, you <laughs> great resources. <laughs> I mean, some fun ways to stand out. We were talking about extracurricular activities, um, and you can back me up here or not, but like, I feel like if you have some interesting, not not quite ordinary um, extracurriculars, that can kind of make your application stand out. Like, that seems pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're the head of your high school circus, I feel like you'd That's want to look closer at that application and be like, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, or Circus something. of one. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. <laughs> High school really is a big thing, guys. I'm a <laughs> <class> clown. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like some, you know, having fun activities that you, you're really passionate about that are, yeah. aren't necessarily like the cheerleading, the football, and there's nothing wrong with cheerleading the football, but it's, you know, most schools have those, so like not every school has a rodeo or a circus of one. <laughs> um, yeah, I did robotics in high school. I think that's yeah. grown mm -hmm. tremendously since I was in high school, but that was something that was definitely unique at the time and able to kind of pop out. And I went into coding, so it, it yeah. worked. Definitely. And I think admissions committees too can tell the difference between 
a senior who signs up for a lot of activities all at once just to list it on their application versus you spending time over the course of high school getting really involved in a few things that you're really interested in. I think that has huge dividends down the road in college, but then also in your admission process. If you really find those things that, not the things that you think sound impressive just to list them, but the things where you can see, here's where I have opportunities to really contribute and things that I'm really interested in. Um, it's better to be, you know, a mile deep and an inch wide, I think, than um, what is it, a mile wide and an inch deep. So, yeah. Um, I do have, okay, so something to add, and Rachel, I bet you can um, back me up on this, maybe. But um, I feel like every single part of the application process is important. Yeah. Um, so to take every single part of the application and give it 110%, just making sure to read every page over and over again, even if it's just, you know, filling out information, but just making sure you spell your name, write your address, um, checking out the appropriate things, and just following the directions. Um, I know that there's, you know, bigger, more important parts that stand out about the application, like, you know, the essay, or if you submit a resume, or, um, you know, recommendation letters, but I, I do feel like you shouldn't um, take any effort away from the other parts, um, mm -hmm. and giving all of it your best effort so when you submit it like you know you have those I, I mean I feel like I had those applications where I submitted it and you just kind of feel really good about it You're like I gave that like 120 max yeah. percent I'm gonna get it and like you feel good about it because like otherwise you're gonna submit it and it's just so much anxiety waiting to hear back from them like when you uh, put the wrong school name yeah uh, yeah <laughs> don't do that but yeah so um, uh, do as I say not as I do and um, take all parts of the application very seriously. I think that even goes to when prepping and what's the most important part is pushing yourself. Jump into courses that are gonna challenge you on a different level. If you're really good at math, jump into an AP course for math. If you have a lower grade in an AP course, that's fine, because if you were in the regular math course and you had that high grade, it's going to look that, oh, this kid took the extra time, the extra effort. He went into the AP course and he's pushing himself to move forward and, and go forward. Same thing with the extracurriculars. If there's something that, again, I mentioned robotics, something that seems kind of quirky and interesting that you want to try out, dive headfirst into it. If it doesn't work out for you, jump out. It's not a big deal. Uh, find something that's unique to you, something that you like, and that's actually going to help you out in when you're deciding what major you want to jump into, too. You're going to start to develop oh, I really like these things, and uh, you know, you might not be a chess major, but uh, that will give you logic, and you'll be able to move forward with different things. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's also a lot, of, um, a lot of other ways to stand out, so I was reading several articles, not just on College Express, but like from many sources that are reliable, um, and like in interviews and things, and it could be very aware of your social media, because back me up here, I believe most admission counselors will look at social media. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. gosh. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I saw, I, I think it was on, like, U.S. News that it can help or hurt you. So if you're, like, talking about bad things, so there was that, that um, thing about the Harvard University kids who posted um, some really bad memes, um, and they had their, they their, their they admission rescinded. <laughs> no, it was like racist oh. stuff. And it was like, it was in bad taste and um, they had their admission um, rescinded from them. Uh, whereas there are plenty of things where it can help you. So if there's something like you're going to an event um, for a local charity and you don't, there's no place to put that on your application, you post about it, you're live tweeting, you're posting up Instagram things of you volunteering at different events, like that can help you with an admission council will look at that and say, oh, this seems like a really good student. They seem really dedicated to this cause. Um, and especially, you know, that's something they bring up if you have like interviews or Zimi is a big thing right now where you can post videos and answer questions. And in those areas, you want to make sure that you look professional. Like no one's expecting a business professional to walk in, but, you know, you do want to look, you know, like you don't want to go in with like ripped jeans and a baggy sweatshirt for an interview and you don't want to post that with your zine, you do want to look professional and um, try to be, you know, try to be impressive but not like over impressive. Like, like I said, no one's expecting you to be perfect. Yeah. I think it's just important to be aware that it's a part of 
who you are on a public level and in a lot of ways applying to college is really good practice for applying for a job and in all of those different situations you know your employer the school where you're attending they want you to be a good reflection of that institution I think so making sure that you um, are consistent with you know it's like Kara said you don't have to change your whole self but um, making sure you're putting your best um, self out there for the world to see and um, you know it's it's always a good idea to check your different accounts before and, and a lot of times um, I know applications will ask you for those different um, accounts so they can follow you and give you an opportunity to connect with other prospective students. So social media can be a really great tool as you're going through your application process to get to know schools, to get to know other students that are interested in those schools, uh, but it is important to be aware of the information you're putting out there for the world. Yeah, make sure to stand out in a good way. Yeah, and just don't just delete your account if you're afraid of something. Or you can make a new one. You no, make like a school one. Yeah, but yeah. I had a, like I had a friend who. <laughs> yeah, like Molly Harding and JMU. Want to just like have my like icon? Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. an admission counselor will see. Yeah. 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 Like, hey. yeah. yeah. She was applying to a job, and she was like, I think that like seven years ago, I posted something that had like mildly bad language. I'm gonna delete my um, Twitter, and I'm like. Just delete the tweet. It's from seven years ago. I feel like they're not going to dig that. Yeah, and if either. you just if you I feel like if you delete the account like just that's randomly, that's going to be like, why did they do that? Yeah. <laughs> I think another way that you can think about standing out in your admission process is just being really aware of that personal connection with the schools. I know when I was an admission counselor, a lot of times we would reach out to students through. Um, calling them, sending them emails, and that kind of thing. I know it's scary to get phone calls. Sometimes I get freaked out to get phone <laughs> calls. So nice. But yeah. your admission counts are really nice. They genuinely want to get to know you and your interest in the school and follow up with you. So even, I think sometimes um, students are kind of hesitant to say too much or not say the right thing to their admission counselor. I think just take advantage of opportunities like that to have them get to know you as a real person. You can ask them questions about your admission process, about the school, and it, it is a really good way to, um, to make those personal connections and really, really stand out as an applicant when you are willing to answer your phone or um, respond when they ask you questions. And then a lot of times, too, schools will have different events through the course of the year. So maybe in the early spring, they'll have an event where you can come to campus with all the other students who are admitted in that class. Um, so don't just think about your visits being like summer before senior year, but even after you've gone through your application process, um, go back to the school, do an overnight visit with a current student, do um, an event that's designed for all the admitted students, and really think through, like Kara was saying, um, is this a campus where I could really see myself day to day?